Breaking news now at 10. Talks break off. The strike is on. Hollywood's writers will walk off the job just after midnight. Also, rain on the way. Will you need an umbrella tomorrow morning? And two sisters turn a minivan into a submarine because their GPS told them to. We begin tonight with breaking news and a major blow to one of Southern California's top industries. Hollywood's movie and TV writers are going on strike. That's right. They will be out on the picket line tomorrow afternoon after talks between the Writers Guild and the Alliance of Movie and TV Producers broke down late tonight. Now, the AMPTP, which represents the studios, issuing this statement late tonight. Negotiations between the AMPTP and the WGA concluded without an agreement today. The primary sticking points are mandatory staffing and duration of employment. And the Writers Guild is tweeting out the board of directors of the WGA West and the Council of the WGA East acted upon the authority granted to them by their memberships have voted unanimously to call a strike effective 12.01 a.m. Tuesday, May 2nd. Well, this will be the first industry strike in 15 years, the last one also being a writer's strike that lasted 100 days in 2007 through 2008 and cost the local economy over $2 billion. Well, Lori Perez is live in Sherman Oaks tonight where negotiations were happening. Lori, lots of fear in Hollywood tonight of what this strike will mean for the workers and businesses that depend on the entertainment industry. Yeah, Jeff and Susie, looking at the statements the two sides put out tonight, it seems pretty clear they were not even close to a deal. The WGA slammed the studios, claiming, in their words, the company's behavior has created a gig economy inside a union workforce, saying the writers are facing an existential crisis. The studios said they, quote, offered generous increases in compensation, but there are too many issues that they say the Guild is insisting on. This is not the outcome that people who own businesses that support TV and uh, film production have wanted. It's always exciting to see your, your, your sticker on a camera or on a light that's uh, behind the scenes, absolutely. Yeah. That hasn't been happening as much lately for Sean Simon and his crew. And then the actual stage. At EVS Rentals and Studios in Glendale. There's probably about a com combined 50 cameras of the various types. He says his business, renting out equipment and hosting productions in-house, has been slowing down for months. Yeah, you don't want to get stuck in the event of a strike, shutting down in the middle of production indefinitely. And so how long did you say you've been feeling the, feeling the effect? Since the beginning of the year. With no deal and a strike called, his fears of even less business are about to come true. What's frustrating is that we just came off of a, of a great rebound from COVID year and momentum was moving forward. And then something that's completely out of our control like this happens. In an email to its members announcing the strike, WGA said of the studios, they have closed the door on their labor force and opened the door to writing as an entirely freelance profession. No such deal could ever be contemplated by this membership. Compensation is the sticking point. Writers want more of it, especially from streaming projects. The union says writers on streaming shows are getting less for the same work and doing less of it. Streaming shows have fewer episodes and writers work fewer months. Dominic Patton is a senior editor at Deadline Hollywood. Nobody disagrees that writers in Hollywood are underpaid right now. There's a tremendous amount of content, but they're not getting the compensation they want for it. Now, late night talk shows and soap operas will shut down first if it continues. Other shows and movies could close down in the months to come every day, costing the industry and the state. The strike in 2007 lasted 100 days and reportedly cost the California economy $2 billion. Again, WGA says picketing will start tomorrow afternoon. We're live in Sherman Oaks. I'm Lori Perez, KCAL News. Back to you. Lori, thank you so much. We have more on this tonight. Paramount Global, which owns KCAL News, part of the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. And many of our KCAL News producers and writers are WGA members. However, they operate under a different contract. 